All right, guys, what up? It's your boy, 1904 Comics. Today is Friday, and before I do anything, I'm going to shoot this video real quick because I have some cool stuff I want to show you. I have a Marvel box and an Omnibus that I want to share with you, and it's been two days that I've been trying to make this video, but I had no chance to do so because my week has been insane. On Monday, I left my phone at one of the work trucks. Tuesday morning, we got a phone call saying don't come in because it's raining. So I didn't get my phone till Wednesday. And because we were off Tuesday, we stayed a little later. Wednesday than usual, so I didn't have no time. Thursday, coming home from work, we were at a stop sign. There was a car ahead of us. There was a little kid, about 10 or 12 years old, just coming down the intersection on his bike, on his way home from school. And this car that was ahead of us decides that this kid, he looks like a pretty awesome target to nail. So let me just go ahead and take off. So he takes off. He hits the back half of this kid's bike. He goes down, you know, the street. A couple more feet, just wobbling. Takes a dive. And looks like this car's about to take off. So my brother starts yelling out his window. Hey, you better stop. This and that. The car to our right starts honking. He starts kind of taking off to try to block this guy. And lo and behold, some old lady gets out of the car with his big old glasses. Throws her hands in the air and, you know, what happened? I didn't see nothing. What happened? It's like, I believe you didn't see nothing about those big-ass glasses because you just nailed this little kid that was right in front of your car. Like, how'd you not see him? Pretty crazy. You shouldn't be driving, lady. Give your license up ASAP because that is dangerous. But that was half of the craziness. Thursday, right after that happens, my brother drops me off at my house, opened my door, and I have 50 bees flying around my living room coming from the chimney. I grab whatever I can. I just start smacking them out of the air. It takes about a good 20 minutes to kill all these bees. Anyways, they're coming from, you know, when you burn wood, you have that little hole, all the ashes, you can sweep them down that hole and you can just scoop them out from the outside. Well, that's where they're coming from. So we put this, you know, piece of metal <coughs> and block the hole. They're flying all around the outside of the chimney from the outside. And it, just, <laughs> it was just a crazy ass day. Just this whole week has been pretty crazy. And, um, yeah, that's just some of the funny craziness that's been going on this past week. So, um, let's get started with the haul now, guys, because I want to take a shower. Anyways, let's start off with the pin. Kind of like Loot Crate, Marvel has their own pin. And, um, yeah, check it out. Secret auto focuses. There we go. Pretty cool pin. Now, I got a couple boxes and stuff to kind of compare these things to. <coughs> Excuse me, because... I kind of feel like some of the other styles and certain things I liked about, like this badge right here, I'm about to show you. It's not a bad badge, but I don't like the style of the badge. I kind of like this style better. And that is this Ant Man badge. I like the style better of the badge. This one's just kind of like a plain little pyramid look. So, which one you guys like? Ant Man, Falcon. Which one? Let me know. Now it came with a comic. They all come with comics, but this one is one of the improvements that Marvel has done with this box. <coughs> Excuse me. I don't know if I mentioned, I have a box fan now. So if you hear a loud noise, that's what it is. And I have it right in front of me, so it's kind of trying out my throat. But anyways, let's continue. One of the improvements. Comics are now bag and boarded, hopefully. Not just this one time. I don't know if they've done Funko Pop covers. They have. I've missed them. But this cover is freaking awesome. And if they do more, I know there'll be a ton of suckers that would buy them. I'd probably be one to get a couple more myself. But, um, yeah. So, an improvement. is bag and boarded. Which is pretty damn awesome. And let me show you the box since I'm kind of sh showing you some of the improvements here. They put these cubbies. Before, they did not have the cubbies. The Funko Pops will just be just tumbling around inside the box, getting damaged. So this time, the Funko Pop is nice and secured. You know, got too much movement and play just to be kind of be tossed around all over the place. So big improvement on the way they ship the box this month. Now, I'm going to be very critical and have one complaint about this box. And that is the exclusive sticker you're about to see. It is plain and generic. It doesn't say what the, you know what the pop is exclusive to <coughs> it could be you know 
Jimbo's liquor store exclusive for all I know. It is just a generic sticker. And yeah, just you'll see it. But the Funko Pops themselves are pretty damn amazing. Check it out. Miles Morales little pop here. Now as you can see that exclusive sticker is just plain. But yeah, the Funko Pop itself, as you can see, is pretty damn awesome. And I saved the last pop because it's the best pop. And that is this bad girl right here. It's an amazing pop. I love this one right here. <coughs> but the exclusive sticker just straight sucks. Now, before I, you know, shot this video, I got these two Funko Pops that came with it. The last two boxes. This is the first box. As you can see, pretty cool little exclusive sticker lets you know what it's exclusive to. And this is the last um, box that was shipped in, I forgot what, but two months ago. And that was the Ant-Man box. And as you can see, a way better exclusive sticker as well. So those exclusive stickers compared to this sticker, yeah. I like this one way better than this generic cheap Jimbo's liquor store exclusive sticker. So, we got one more thing to show you. Here it is. It was on my lap. Let me see if I can get this in the picture. There you go. A cool little Funko Pop tea here. Probably give this one away before my brother in law comes over and tries to snag it up. But yeah, so. I'll find something to do with the shirt. But those are the items that came with the uh, Marvel box. I have one more thing to show you guys. And that is a Omnibus, which you've probably seen already. And you'll be seeing a lot next week for sure as well. And that is Wonder Woman George Perez Omnibus. I got this from In Stock Trades. I believe I paid about 36 bucks for it. Came out to like $40, including shipping. But I believe there's about 625 pages or so, something like that, of reading material. So, good bang for your buck. And um, I ordered one more book. I believe it was this Tuesday. So, hopefully, next week I will have that to show you guys as well. But, um, yeah, that's all I got for you guys. I'm going to go take a shower now. Peace out, people. Like, subscribe, share. Have a great weekend doing whatever it is you're doing. But I'll be checking you guys out next week. Laters.